Sharper Point Commentary, presented by Schwartz Laser Eye Center. The Phoenix Business Journal just released its list of the highest paid CEOs in the Valley. And while there might have been some surprises on the list, what surprised me the most as I looked at it is that I wasn't the least bit jealous or envious. Sure, I wonder what it's like to bring home the bacon to the tune of eight figures in annual income. Yeah, I sometimes wonder what it's like to live in a lavish home and own enough cars to fill its 10-car garage, but jealousy and envy are emotions I can't afford because they take my eye off the ball of the emotion I need most to focus on, gratitude. When I'm not grateful for what I already have, which, by the way, is enough to sustain me and my family, I clamor for the things I think I deserve, and that can lead to all sorts of unhappiness and all sorts of unnecessary debt. And there's one type of debt that's especially bad in the Valley that may show we're experiencing a little too much envy of the Joneses, resulting in us trying to keep up with them. First, though, the people who make a whole lot more than everybody else in the Valley, the highest paid CEOs. I thought this was interesting. Among the top 10 paid CEOs in the Phoenix Metro are two women. As a girl dad, that gives me hope that my little girls will grow up to be big earners who can take care of dad in his old age. Carla Lewis with Reliance Incorporated and Cheryl Palmer with Taylor Morrison Homes pulled in more than $14 million in total compensation. Topping the list, though, is Joshua Eisner, who heads up Scottsdale-based Axon Enterprise Incorporated, the makers of tasers and police body cams. Eisner brought in a cool $31.5 million in total compensation. But even Eisner has someone he could be envious of because he's only the 54th highest compensated CEO in America. America's top dog is Hawk Tan, the CEO of Broadcom, who brings home $161.83 million a year. Axon's Joshua Eisner wishing and hoping and even hating Hawk Tan won't get him anywhere closer to making as much as him because it just takes his mind off the hard work he has to put in at Axon. And that's one of the lessons I need to learn. A lot of these people put in a lot of long hours and a lot of hard work to get that big pay they're getting now. So what I need to do is just do my job instead of worrying about what someone else makes. Oh, and I need to learn a lesson about how trying to look like I make big bucks could possibly lead to me having no bucks later in life. We've been reporting on this this morning. When it comes to auto loan debt, Wallet Hub just released a report that shows four Valley cities are among the top 25 in the country for residents who owe the most on a car or a truck. As a matter of fact, Scottsdale comes in number two and actually has the highest average auto loan balance and monthly payment in the country. $25,749 owed on an auto loan. That's the average. And an average monthly payment of $641. Thanks for watching Sharper Point. Click to see more from Arizona's morning news and tap the button in the middle to subscribe.